YouTube, it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker, and tater, and pixel. <laughs> Look how skinny she is without her hair. Aww. Look at that face. Oh, you kill me with that face. Are you a baby? <gasps> it's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Pixel's like, yeah, whatever. I got two bonies here. <laughs> well, let me show you. Oh, stop. She's... Okay, now you're just being a piggy. Tater's trying to get down the stairs and Pixel's guarding. Okay, Pixel, get. There you go. <laughs> I was in the other room and I heard Tater crying. So that's why, because she wasn't letting her down the stairs. Ugh, they don't fight or anything. But, I don't know. They're puppy dogs. So, uh, I know some of you like the dogs. Others are like, get on with the haul. So, today is Monday, half price day at the two savers that I go to. One opens at 7, one opens at 9. I'm 12 minutes away from each. I live between the two. So, that is how I accomplished two stores on there when both of them uh, first open. Uh, didn't get a huge amount of stuff today, but I am kind of buried in stuff. I believe it was last week that I took Monday off because I had so much inventory. It's like I have to get it organized, research, price to go to my store, etc., etc. Somebody's playing with their dog food. <laughs> I guess it's okay to play with food when you're a dog. Anywho, so let's jump right in and show you what I got. Um, I got two shirts today. One is for me, one is to resell, this one is to resell. I don't even know what it says, but it's kind of a cool graphic tee. It is an 1820 and it is Elaine Bryant. And it was not a million dollars, it was $250. Um, we've seen shirts there in the last two weeks that have been $29.99. Not kidding. Crazy. And then this one uh, was also $2.50. It is, I don't think I know this brand, Max Jeans. Um, it's very cute. It's very lightweight. And it has what they call the cold shoulder. So it's got that little opening and then it has three quarter sleeves, which is kind of cute. So I thought I would get that very cute design on there. So, yeah, one for me, one to sell. Um, I don't, usually don't pick up that much Vera Bradley anymore. They did have this for uh, half price, was $4. It still has the tag. It is not a super new design, but it is a newer design. And it is for, um, I don't know, like a tablet or an e-reader or a Kindle, whatever. Um, so I will be listing that. The design is on here, which is La Neon Rose tablet sleeve. There's what it says. So that will go on eBay. Shirt will go on eBay. That will go on me. <laughs> this, I, I looked it up before I picked it up. Um, it is an Origins Explorer Club, New York City. Uh, it was $2.50. It's got this little sleeve. See if I can do this one-handed. And then inside the box, the box is adorable, by the way. Um, it's got this little uh, zipper kit. And then it has these uh, Dr. Wheel, or however you say his name, Andrew Wheel. Um, it's got a skin relief and a cream. And I don't know what this is. It's upside down. Yeah, different kinds of skin relief. So I thought that was pretty cool. It is a gifty set, so um, I don't know. I liked it. I looked it up. There wasn't too many. There was a couple others that were different. I don't think I found anyone exactly like this, but I figure with the name of Origins plus the name of that doctor, um, it will uh, do okay. You know what? It's just not going to happen one-handed. <laughs> So not too bad for $2.50. Um, that'll go online, so have no idea how much that will be. Look, somebody's got their chicken legs out. Oh, where'd your chicken legs go? Where's your chicken legs? 
Um, I got this. I know it's hard to think about snow and it's almost August. Or it is August. Uh, it says it's snow time. It's got this metal and then it has a snowman. Very adorable. This was three dollars so this will probably who's squeaking <laughs> she's crying and squeaking what 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 tater gotta get the tater <laughs> oh you're getting lots of the dogs today i hope you like it um so this will probably go in my booth eh, 14 bucks i'm guessing Got another jewelry tree. I've seen a lot of them. I haven't bought many because I was kind of up to my neck in jewelry trees. But this was adorable and I have sold several. So this was only $2.50 and it's kind of nice. It's kind of like two-sided and it's metal. It's got this metal bottom on it. So $2.50, not too bad. That seems to be the price of the day. Um, I also got these. I don't know if you call these pine cones, pineapples, finials, whatever you would like to call them. Um, I got them for $1.50. They're Doris, so they were probably at a craft store. I uh, don't know how much the original price was. You can even use those as bookends, whatever your little heart desires. Um, this I'm going to put on eBay. Um, older stuff like this does really well. Um, it has miscellaneous bills and letters, and it's wood, and it was only a dollar fifty. I was kind of contemplating, and then when I saw two two ninety nine today, it picks on. Stop it! What? Shh. Oh, she's a hound dog, part hound dog, part Doberman, and she talks all the time. She's a very vocal dog. Um, so I don't know how much that will do, but like I said, that will go on eBay. Um, found some more yarn. I usually don't buy yarn unless there's a decent amount of it or it's vintage or it's made in Italy or whatever. So this will go on eBay. We have a store in our area called Ollie's and they are a discount and closeout store. So even if it's a closeout, you never know, you might actually be able to get a good price on it because sometimes people buy and then they start a project and then they run out. So, yeah, so there are like two, four, six, eight, there's like 10 or 12 in here and it's kind of a cool color. So these will get listed um, and this was only $2.50, so not bad at all. Uh, it was sold at the discount store for $2 a skein. So if there's, you know, 12 in there, that's $24. And then it says it was originally, what, $8.99. Yeah, that might be a little exaggerating, but this is Lion Brand, which is a good brand. Um, Honest Abe, been finding a ton of Honest Abes here recently. Different busts of Presidents, Beethoven, you name it, I find it. <laughs> so this one is, uh, it is ceramic. Um, 1625 yeah it's a real old one no i'm just kidding <laughs> so yeah that's uh mr abraham lincoln and he was only three dollars so yep gotta pick him up um let me sit down here so i can show you up close this is so cute i actually have like a flower pot that i have in my kitchen for my utensils because i like to have most of my larger utensils up in this container. This is kind of small, but it does have that uh, enamelware look, but of course you can tell it's fudged. Um, it has that farmhouse vibe. This was only $2. This is also another uh, discount um, closeout type store called Big Lots. Um, you may have one in your area, but even there it was $10. So that will probably go in my booth for, I don't know, eight maybe? Yeah, eight bucks. I have a little kitchen area, so that's where that will go. Um, as far as Abraham Lincoln, I'll probably put 10 or 12 on him. Um, this is something I don't usually buy, but I saw it and it was a good price and I thought, eh, what the heck. I got a new living room set. <laughs> so this was all in a bag for $3.50. And it is in very awesome condition, very cute. 
Uh, we have a love seat, a chair, an ottoman, an area rug, a coffee table, uh, some kind of refreshments, a uh, mirror, and I don't know if these pillows, I don't know, go like this, I don't know. I'm not a decorator, people, I just resell. I don't know, I think it's supposed to go like that? Maybe, but whatever. Maybe there was a, you know what, there might have been a couch somewhere that got separated. <laughs> I don't know, but otherwise it's very cute. I will set, sell this as a set. Um, I don't know, I'll do my research, maybe eBay, um, probably, probably do that instead of my booth, I don't know. Um, I also found some other miniature items, but I'm going to show you those last. I got a bag that has a new Imari cologne and a Haiku cream. Probably going to throw the Haiku away. It appears to be opened. And, nah, not so much. But three bucks, essentially, for the Imari. Um, I always loved Imari just because it reminded me of my mama. That was like her signature scent. She loved that. So probably just go ahead and sell that online. If it's not a lot, I may just sell it for the same price in my booth, but probably online. I guess I'll see. Um, these were kind of cool. Um, these are face mats. Uh, they are face coasters. So if you're looking for something to do and you've had a too much to drink, they have a little place you can hook it on your nose and walk around with a different face. Why not? 15 bucks at Kohl's originally. Thought that was interesting. I have some kitchen items. I have some men items. So why not? Something cute, something fun, and only $1.50. I hate when they put this on the front, so it's one of those I'm going to have to carefully peel it off. Sometimes these come off great. Um, other times, not so much. Uh, yeah, so it came off the plastic pretty good, but you know, one of those things. So yeah, this will go in my booth. It says there are 40 of them in there. So they're just like the cardboard ones you get in a bar, but I thought that was pretty cool. Somebody would love to have that. If I look it up and it's worth anything, I might put it on eBay. Uh, and if that's the case, make sure that you put man cave and barware in the title because that's how people are looking for these items. Um, I got these very adorable glass uh, little containers that have a bird on them, aren't they pretty? Um, and these were $2.99, so I paid $3 for both. I got my receipts in that one. <laughs> so that would look cute maybe in a bathroom with your cotton balls or Q-tips or something. So I will put those in my booth, um, probably ask, hmm, I don't know, six, seven bucks each. Um, and then the rest of these, like I said, are miniature items. Um, these do pretty well. Uh, I've sold little uh, shingles for uh, dollhouses. I've sold other furniture that was not put together yet. It was like a kit. Um, and why not these? And I essentially paid three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, seven fifty for all of it. And pretty much what you see in here. Now, if you do these for a living, you are awesome, and you have great eyeballs, and you have small fingers. Because <laughs> this stuff, if you've ever tried to put any of this on, yeah, you want to just take the whole creation and just throw it out the window. So these, look how little these are compared to my thumb. These are nails. Ugh. And then also in here are little hinges. And more hinges, nails and hinges. See, the, the cool thing about these two is they're easy to ship. They're easy to list, especially if they are the same things. Yeah, so got a lot of hinges in there. So that's like they look like triangle hinges and also uh, nails. So these will go on eBay, so I'll have to do my research. They are Houseworks Solid Brass Hardware. See, they have the little number on there, so these should be pretty easy to uh, take pictures of and to list and to ship. 
So very happy with those. You know, if it would have been just maybe one bag, I probably wouldn't have just because, yeah, who wants to do that? And if they were a whole bunch of different things, I still probably would have bought them, but it wouldn't have been as easy to list. I can't imagine these, even if these sell at like a dollar, dollar fifty each, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in each one, and I paid a dollar fifty, so like a buck fifty, that's pretty easy. So, yeah, so I think that is all that I got this week. Not a ton of stuff, that's okay. Um, I have a process of as things come into my house. And one of these days, I'm going to show it to you. How everything comes in, and then I do my video, and then when I shut this video off, I have a way of getting things gathered up, and then I'll show you where I go through them, uh, if things need to be cleaned or priced or whatever, and then packed up, and then out to my antique booth, or I do the research, put a sticky note on them, and then they are ready to be listed on eBay. Pictures, of course, first, then eBay. What tater tot? Are you a good baby? Doesn't she look like a different dog without all that hair? I went to pick her up, and if she wasn't so excited to see me, I think maybe they would have given me the wrong dog. It was so funny. Oh, and I said no bows this time. <laughs> so tell me what you thought. Would you pick up this miniature stuff? Is that something that you think about selling if you find it? Or if you find it at a good deal? Um, I don't know. Why not? So, like I said, that is all I got. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so by hitting that subscribe button down below. You can also hit the bell and you will get notifications when I put up new content. Or if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram under The Pudgy Picker, you also get notified through them when a new video goes up. Also, I am on Pinterest. You could just see some of the ideas and different boards that I have. And that is listed under just Pudgy Picker. So, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Get out there, find some good stuff. Whether you're going to garage sales, auctions, thrift stores, etc. Um, yeah, there's always more stuff to be found. The endless stream of things. So, I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye!